What's up, YouTube? This is Ken Pocalypse, and uh, I want to first. I want to apologize for last week. Didn't actually get to uh, get to put a video out. Uh, thought it was going to be late, and then it ended up that I couldn't do it. Um, I apologize. Uh, I'm an average working guy, you know. So when uh, when duty calls, uh, I got to do it. <laughs> so uh, I actually missed uh, making a video last week, and I'm I'm really really sorry. Um, on that note, um, speaking of being sorry, um, I had ordered a Hisense H9F from Best Buy because it became available for order for me, finally. Um, I know a lot of people were saying, you know, it's available in my area. Uh, people in New England was like, hey, it's available up here. Uh, it's available in Florida. It's available in California. It's available in uh, Michigan. But it wasn't available here yet. And uh, finally, a couple of days after that, um, it actually became available. So, you know, it rolled out pretty quickly. Uh, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos. Um, people has uh, has thrown up and, you know, the TV looks impressive. I uh, haven't got to see one in person yet. Um, I want to um, because that way I can give you more detail, which brings me to I ordered it. And then... Um, about midway through the week last week, I got an email from Best Buy because it was supposed to be delivered on the uh, the second uh, to the store actually, and I I, I got a uh, email from Best Buy. It says, uh, "Mr. Johnson, we're sorry for the inconvenience, but your order has been delayed due to the high demand of the uh, the product that you've uh, ordered." Uh, we're unable to fulfill all of the orders at the moment. But, and there was a but in there, but we assure you that it will be delivered by the 17th. Okay, um, if I'm not wrong, is today like, what is today? Today's like the third? Um, I'm pretty sure like today's like the third or fourth. No, maybe it's the fourth. Um, so that's another couple of weeks and so my thoughts on this are okay I've already paid the money it's already been ordered uh, do I get my money back and go for a Vizio P series or do I just stick it out and wait for that H9F um, and let me throw this out at you right now uh, at Best Buy today uh, today being Sunday and all the ads and everything, um, the 65-inch Vizio P-Series Quantum, not the Quantum X, just the P-Series Quantum, is on sale for $1,099, which is only $200 more than what I'm buying the Hisense for. And, you know, of course, you know, uh, Vizio's more established right now than Hisense is. But, see, Hisense post some very very impressive details like their tv is uh it's boasted to be around 1100 nits peak brightness the reason i bring that up is because our ratings which i know don't always trust our ratings because uh i found them to be biased sometimes uh if they do not like a product or i guess personal views I like to go to review.com. Uh, those guys really do really well, but they haven't reviewed the uh, the regular P series yet. Uh, but our ratings has the P series only coming in at 871 nits peak brightness. Uh, that doesn't quite sound right to me because uh, Vizio says it's a thousand nit TV. Um, he, it doesn't say that it's almost a thousand nit TV. They say it is a thousand nit TV. So uh, I'm waiting for another review to come out on that one. Uh, you know, cause I mean, yeah, I'd like to have a Vizio P series. No, I do not like. Absolutely, do not like the operating system. I think it sucks. It is slow. It is sluggish. They need to do something. They need to go Roku or something and get away from their Vizio dashboard. I just I don't like it. Um, that's one reason I wanted to go with the Hisense because see I have the Sony 900F right in front of me this is a great TV and I apologize that I'm not showing like any any major videos or anything like that oh look Minecraft again so <laughs> uh, 
Minecraft on Mixer. Oh, speaking of Mixer, everybody knows that Ninja went to Mixer. Um, I don't know if that's a big deal for some people. Um, some people it's not. So, um, But, you know, that's good for Microsoft. Uh, that's really, really good for Microsoft, actually. Uh, because Mixer is their own brand. So, um, I guess they got to compete with uh, Twitch and uh, YouTube somehow, right? But, um, but anyway... I got the Sony 900F in front of me, and the issue that I'm having is the 900F is a great TV, and it's got a great operating system, but it's a 55-inch. Uh, this is just a 55-inch, and I'm going to upgrade to a 65-inch. I was going to upgrade to the TCL 617 75-inch, but, but it's not a quantum color TV, so... It's only got like a 90% color ratio. I think that's what they said. It's like an 88 and 90, 88 and 90 uh, color ratio, which is, it's okay. It's not great. If you look at like Samsung's QLEDs, they're like uh, in the 96, 98 range. Well, that's what the Vizio P-Series. The Vizio P-Series is actually 96.68 and 98.21. Uh, and for you geeks out there that know what that is, know what that the dcpi is i mean that, that color space makes a lot of difference especially if you want stuff to pop now one thing is the vizio p series besides adding airplay to vizios is um and their quantum dot they have a high contrast ratio and i'm talking about super high i'm talking about like eight thousand uh is it eight thousand percent contrast ratio I'll have to get that right um, but anyway uh, which makes your blacks look blacks and your whites look white and it helps during HDR it helps colors pop and everything so that's great I mean that's up there with uh, Samsung Samsung Q80s and Q90s I mean so that's really good for Vizio but um, you know the high sense is supposed to be a brighter TV with high contrast ratio but I I haven't seen anybody review the actual contrast specs and the DCPI specs, anything like that. Anything with the collar gamut, I haven't seen anybody review it. It does have an extra wide collar gamut, which puts it up there with Samsung also. Uh, it's also supposed to be a thousand nits. It's supposed to be a 120 hertz panel. But, um, I mean, do you go for more color or do you go for more brightness? I mean, more brightness means more vivid colors, but more color means you get more realistic colors. So, you know, it's kind of stuck in between. So do I get my money back or or do I, you know, stay with the H9F and just wait it out? Um, I'd really like to have the TV. It's a great price, 65 inch for $899.99. I mean, that's awesome. And this is supposed to be a, they, they're calling it a top tier killer. So <laughs> uh, that's that's what I've heard on a couple of the reviewed channels. Uh, so, you know, just waiting to see what everything, what everything does. I, I, I just, I don't want to not get it and then see it later after I get the Vizio and be like, oh my God, I wish I would have got the Hisense. Or do I, you know, lose my patience and just get the Vizio P series, which yes, more established, no horrible operating system. I mean, look, the the Sony 900F has the Android operating system. It works really smooth. Well, I have Android everything, so the Hisense uses the Android operating system. So it's kind of a a tug and pull between both of them. Uh, Vizio, you know. And the high sense. This is going to be the battle of the budget TVs, is what it is. And these are top tier TVs, really. So it's going to be a battle of the top tier budget TVs. So we're going to see how it goes. Um, but anyway, um, I apologize for no video last week. Uh, like I said, I had some things come up. But there will be another video next week. So uh, this is Ken Pocalypse. Uh, like my channel. Subscribe to my channel and share my videos and I'll have more for you next time.